again and we are going to open 310 and we're going to go to colors again color alpha which is the color black there we go and now we're going to move this across as well like that yeah that should be fine and uh, then we're just going to go ahead and open our final fractal 14 and we are going to uncheck uh, his eye but we are going to check our um, our little abstract guy here. And as you can see now, if you put him on top, um, he blocks out uh, the rest down here because we set him on normal. So um, to make him appear on the background, we are going to choose the fuzzy select tool, click, and drag out see right here see if you go down it selects more and if you drag out it just uh, selects less of it and that's what we want because we want to keep the black of the render so just select out like that so we keep uh, this black here oops there we go and uh, some of the black over here and then we're going to go to uh, edit and cut. And now he appears on uh, the background. So we can go ahead and do select none. Now with our move tool, we're going to select him and move him down a little uh, right here. And we are going to open our last fractal again. So just check the eye. Well, it's already open. I meant to just check the eye so see what we're doing. Then go to colors, uh, colored alpha like we did with the other uh, two fractals 310 and 313 and just choose the color black and press OK and we are going to move it down until this big line here touches uh, our little abstract image and as you can see the, uh, the very bright two lights here kind of um, go over our image and that's not what we want so we are going to choose the eraser tool and we're just going to erase those so we can actually see him you know because it took out all of this um, this part here basically so uh, just go ahead and uh, erase I'm going to keep this a line here so that's why I'm being careful you don't have to keep it I just think it looks good so I'm keeping it haha <laughs> okay so there we go that's pretty much it for the background now uh, what we're going to do is we are going to make our text. And I found a new way of making neon text, uh, which is uh, not the same as uh, I did on one of my previous videos. I'm going to show you how to do that now. But to do so, we're going to have to do uh, open a new um, background, a new file, I guess. So file new, 400 by 300. And... Uh, we're doing this because if you do it on your actual image, it's going to make all the other layers the same size. And it's going to cut them in half, basically, and keep them like that. And that's what we want, not what we want, because we won't be able to see our, our background. We'll, we'll only see, like, uh, I don't know, one, one third of it, which is going to be the part on the right, because that's where I'm going to put the text. So uh, I just found another way to get around that by just making a new file and uh, making my text there. But I'm going to make it a black uh, background, because I love black backgrounds, right? And uh, then I'm going to press the switch button to make the text white so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, just uh, write any text you want. I'm going to write recon system. And I'm going to make the system overlap with the E of, the re of, with the e of recon. And just move those across my way of being a little creative here there we go 
and I'm gonna press close. A good size to make uh, your text uh, if you're following this tutorial is 52 because it's gonna fit perfectly right here. So as you can see, I've done this before. I already got the the um, the size right. So yeah, and I chose sans bold by the way as my uh, font. So now you got your font, you are going to right click, alpha to selection, and you are going to go to filters and alpha to logo, and you're going to click on neon. Now um, you don't have to make it uh, the size I do, I'm making it, uh, you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to make it 30 pixels. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to leave it as, uh, no, I'm going to make it 25. And uh, background color black, and I chose my glow color as 26D3FF. And uh, create shadow, yeah, why not? And just press OK. Now, as I told you before, see, this makes all the layers the same size. Imagine if it had done that on our uh, real image here. Disastrous, right? That's why I made it into an, in a new file. So now all we have to do is uh, copy and paste that over. So I'm just going to select the top one first, edit, copy, down here, edit, paste, and click uh, this to make it into a new layer. Now we're going to go back to our font, go to the next one, edit, copy, and back to our image, edit paste and once more new layer and uh, I'm gonna also copy paste this black thing here so uh, edit copy edit and paste there we go and uh, oops, new layer and now we are going to uh, move those across Here, do the same with this one. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Move it up here, and we're gonna move the shadow across as well, right there. And move uh, the first image we copied on the top. Oops, I added an extra e. Oh well, typo. Uh, yeah, so, and I put my shadow in the middle, because if you put it at the end, it doesn't look that great. You don't see the shadow. So you put it in the middle. And uh, there you go. Basically, that's the end of the tutorial. As you can see, this uh, neon is actually pretty good compared to the one I showed in my other tutorial, how to make neon paths and 3D text, etc. Which I forgot how to show you how to make 3D text. Completely forgot. Fail. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you've learned a couple of new tricks on GIMP. And uh, subscribe if you like this tutorial. And I guess I'll see you next time. So, yeah. Bye.